Now that we've changed our step fill pattern and direction of stitches, you're ready to change colors in the teddy bear's hat. To change colors in your teddy bear, you first want to choose the color that you want to change. Left click on the green in the teddy bear's hat. Then go down to your thread palette. In the thread palette, there are two lines of colors. The top line is the available thread colors in the palette that you're working with. The bottom line of colors is the colors that are used in the design. Notice that there's a little paint bucket over the green. That means that that's the color of the fill area. You'll also notice that there's a little pencil or what we will call a pen over the X at the very end of the colors used. That pen is actually for an outline. Because we do not have an outline on the teddy bear's hat, there is no pen and that's why that X is chosen. Later we'll show you how to use the pen to make an outline for your whole teddy bear. So with that green chosen, go ahead and go to that top available colors and scroll and see all the different colors that you can choose for your teddy bear's hat. Today we want to use kind of a brilliant color of blue, so a royal blue for that center part of the teddy bear's hat. Notice when I move my mouse over the bottom right part of a thread color, it turns into a little mouse with a bucket next to it. Notice when I go to the top, there becomes a pin. So the top left color or the top left area in the color box is for an outline. The bottom right area is for the fill pattern area. To change the color, all you have to do is simply click on the bottom right part of the box, left click, and it changes the color of the hat. See how easy that was? It also changed the color in the colors used in the design area as well. So that green changed to a blue. If you want to change it to a turquoise, again, for the fill area, use the bottom right corner and left click and it changes the color of the hat. So go ahead and make that choice. Change that center area in the color of the hat. You can do that for any of the colors in your design. So if you wanted to change the fur color, you could do that as well. So it's that easy to change a color very fast, very simple, by using the thread palette. So now you're ready to go ahead and save your design when you come back. Go ahead and try this. Try changing the color a couple different times and then we'll come back and we'll save your teddy bear so you can stitch it out on your embroidery machine.